This woman self-deleted at 36 years old. This woman gone at age 23 from an overdose. 23 by self-deletion. 20 from complications stemming from alcohol abuse. 20 from self-deletion. 24 overdose. 27 overdose. 31 self-deletion. 24 self-deletion. And what do all of these people have in common? Well, they were all popular adult film stars who very recently passed due to psychological issues that they developed after joining the adult film industry, which is far, far more dark than the industry would ever want you to know. And here's why. And by the way, I should mention that this video has some pretty serious and mature content that we'll be discussing, so viewer discretion is advised for this one. In a world where more and more people are choosing to become OnlyFans creators, working in the adult content industry has not only become more socially acceptable, but it's also marketed as female empowerment. Sex is just sex. Like... It's just sex. Women are often told that by working in this industry, it would not only raise their social status, but they'll also be making tons of money while doing it. And so I think that for me was like OnlyFans. I was like, oh, I'll do this on the side. Like, it'll just be extra money. A lot of girls in Scottsdale do it. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of the norm out here in the West. They promised me fame, fortune, attention. They promised me I would be the next biggest, hottest Star. Many who start in OnlyFans or work in adult content are expecting the same kinds of things. More freedom, more money, social desirability, and female empowerment. And we should be clear, in some cases, their choice to work in the industry did help them to get those things. But they didn't anticipate what else came with the job, leading them to saying things like this. Do you think there is some sort of post-traumatic stress that is in you from this experience? Yes. People ask me if they should do porn. I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. And then I think to myself, maybe a nine to five won't be so bad. Honestly, some of my experiences are really humiliating for me. Sorry. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Tell myself this like this. I send a very strong message to young girls. Don't do porn. As much I understand it, you want to embrace your sexuality. You want to say, screw the man, screw whatever. Like, I can do what I want with my body, but you're just going to have a life of crap in front of you. And Now, if this was the extent of the danger, then it wouldn't be nearly as bad as it really is. But unfortunately, it's worse than that. The number of premature deaths in the adult entertainment industry has been rising at a really disturbing rate and it seems to only be getting worse. In almost all of these cases, these young people aren't simply dying from freak accidents. It was like five or six months in a row somebody was dying. I have probably 15 friends that have died to either suicide or drug overdose. I just lost somebody that I was very close to last year. I would pop as many pills as I could get my hands on and then just drink and drink and drink, trying to open When I would wake up from my attempts, um, I would get drunk. Like It was that realization that I hated who I became. I hated money, and it was killing me. Addicted to drugs and alcohol. I was the kind of person at the party to praise upon, and I tried to kill myself with prescription pills. I didn't care anymore. For 30 people who were dear to my heart, that I knew personally, that were in the industry the same time as me, they didn't see any light at the end of the tunnel. So 30 of those people have taken their life. With an estimated 91% of men and 60% of women consuming adult content, the negative impact that it's had on the life of the consumer has been proven over the years in countless studies. With everything from a negative impact on your relationships, your mental health, your sexual satisfaction in marriage, and much, much more, adult content can reasonably be said to be one of the most detrimental vices of our generation. Not only has it destroyed the lives of so many of its consumers, but it also affects its creators whose lives have been in at an alarming rate under really disturbing circumstances. But if you listen to ex-stars talk about why working in this industry ruined their lives, you usually hear them describing things that are the symptoms and not the root cause. I'm going to play a clip of a former adult film star giving reasons for why her life got so bad, and as you listen, I want you to see if you can hear the reason behind the reason that she gives. Take a listen. People treat me as if I am a pile. A simple question, like, how would you like to be treated? Oh my gosh, I've never thought about that. 
Oh god, I never even- that is so simple. I guess like... I would, um... I wish that people would treat me how they would treat a married registered nurse with 2.5 kids in Indiana. That's how I wish people would treat me. How would that change your how would that change your life if they treated you that way? I would be so happy. I don't know. I never even thought about that before. <laughs> but it'll never happen. That's probably why I don't think about it. Now, not gonna lie, that was pretty difficult to watch for reasons that we'll come back to here in just a bit. But if you notice, what she's really saying is that people don't see her as valuable. And by the way, there's a reason for why these stars internalize these things in such a strong way. Even though these people freely chose to join the industry, this should still break your heart. As a Christian, I don't just believe that exchanging yourself for money is a bad thing. I also believe that God is a gracious God who loves every single person that works in that industry. Just as Christ loved the woman at the well, the woman caught in adultery, the sinners, the prostitutes, he loved them enough to show them that he valued them so much that he was willing to give his life for them. He didn't see them as people that were too dirty or too disgusting to associate with. He loved them enough to tell them that there's more to life and it's not too late. They could come to accept them and begin to drink from a well that will never run dry. So if you're a person that's caught in any sort of sex work or sexual addiction, I get it. And more importantly, God gets it. I promise you there's still hope for you because God changed me in ways that I literally thought was going to be impossible. And if he can change me, then I promise you he can change you too. Part of this process for me was realizing that the commands that God gives are not arbitrary. They're for our best interests because he designed us to live in a way that's optimal for us and our flourishing. But one teaching that was hard for me to initially understand was why God said not to have sex outside of marriage. But now I get it. So go ahead and click on this video to see why, and I'll see you over there. But the next time you find yourself thinking that adult content is harmless, what are you gonna say? What do you mean?